Greetings and salutations, race fans, sports lovers, and others, and welcome to Mayerton. It's street drags, it's the 011 society, it is cash days, it is drags, it is heads up, it is unbelievable. Sunday in Midvale, we've got the practice sessions going down the line right about now. It's noisy, it's just energy, it is unbelievable. So, what's it all about? It's street drags, it's a quarter mile down the strip. The big thing, there's no prep. When they say no prep, no traction control, no coke, no Fanta, no sticky stuff whatsoever, it's supposed to be just plain tar. They're allowed to do a burnout. That there is a burnout zone. In Moedi, in the burnout zone, they only put water down there and they keep it down onto the concrete strip. Get the tires nice and warm and they follow the lights. The lights, when they're staged, you know the rules. It goes to two white lights on, and down the tree, green light goes. The rules are simple. Number one is be lacquer. Number two, you jump, you go home. Number three, you cross the white line, you go home. Number four, you cross the outside lines. May God be with you. The pits are full. You've got uh, Big Chief. Where's JP? JP's Big Chief. He's down here. He's running the whole show. And you got, you've got the loudest porter in Africa on the mics. The oak he's doing. Vic is doing a brilliant job. I'm Colin Hasty. I come from a track background, not a drags background. I'm learning. I'm absolutely loving it. They practice rounds at the moment. And what, they, what they're basically doing, getting a feel of the clutch bite points, the amount of grip, they're busy tuning. It's not about how much power the engine makes. It's about how much power you can stick down through the tires onto the tar, the unprepped tar. No juice, no sticky stuff. It's different from normal drags. So a lot of the high-powered cars have, have had to be backed off from their power. You'll see the launch in these practice things. Some of them are really good. Some of them are not so lacquer. There are classes for all the cars, and it's quite simple. There's front-wheel drive, and they're broken down into cars with street tires and slicks. And you'll see on the side window here, above, above the sticker on the side window, you'll see in uh, whitewash writing, front-wheel drive ST. That means he's got street tires. But I don't, those Hoosiers, they look like slicks to me. He's going to do a burnout now, and he goes. So front-wheel drive, slicks, and street tires. Then you've got rear-wheel drive, slicks and street tires, believe it or not. You've got all-wheel drive. We've got a couple of seriously proper all-wheel drive cars here. Launch control, the whole, whole stuff. Um, they doesn't matter what tires you run on there. It's all, all in one class. And we've got an exhibition class. Exhibition, those are the cars with wheelie bars on them. And there's a lot of other things on them. But they've got turbochargers that are absolutely ginormous. Biggest turbos I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm learning. I'm learning a bucket load. Um, and then we've got bikes. And these bikes are proper serious bikes. You'll see one of them, he's, a, he's just gone down the strip now. They are mad. Absolutely stark raving mad. In terms of jeans, leather jacket, helmet, gloves, pin it brother, down the strip they go. There are a couple of safety rules. Your car must be, look lacquer. If they see that your car isn't, doesn't look lacquer, you're out of here, go home. You've got to have your seat belts on and uh, uh, on properly. You've got to have a crash helmet and it's got to be fastened. And you've got to have long sleeve shirts on. They've taken the other safety rule that they've got is these cars reach incredible speeds, but 180 to 200 k's an hour at the end of a quarter mile. So they've said that if your car gets squirrely or loose and, and it looks dangerous, you can do that two times, third time, pack your stuff and get out of here. There are a couple of other things that I'm learning about. There's a bit of side betting. Cash days is after lunchtime. When they say cash days, they mean cash days. The Oaks come with piles of 100 grand notes. Just listen to that. It is unbelievable. The popping and the banging. It's not a gunfight. It's not a shootout. It's just the launch control and keeping the turbos going. What they do is they feed lots of fuel into it and they change the cam timing so those explosions are in the exhaust manifold and keep the RPM of the turbo up, keep it all spooled up, keep it absolutely pinned. Man, so if the car gets squirrely, you're out. Cross the lines, you're out. You're not lacquer, you're out. It is unbelievable. Guys, 
I don't know what more I can tell you now. Apart from, check this out. That's a front wheel drive, turbo car. It's lacquer. Guys, what we're gonna do today is we've got cameras all the way down the line. We've got cameras down the strip. We've got cameras at the start line. I'm gonna be roving down inside the pit area. I'm gonna find interesting cars. I'm gonna find some of the characters and we're gonna try and give you a look behind the scenes at the O Double One Society cash days, no prep drags. I'm looking forward to it. I've met a whole lot of new people this morning and I've got to say, they are so friendly. Open hands, two rules. Don't touch the cars and don't touch the cars. And don't be nice. Launch control. Absolutely launch control. Right, I'm going to go back to the box for now. And uh, guys, join us. Keep stay with us for the day. It's magnificent. Wow, what's happening, guys? I'm a Gaucho GP. Old school Fiat. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I just saw an all-wheel drive RS3 do a front-wheel drive burnout. Everybody's got the tricks of the trade, ladies and gentlemen. Ho Ho GP. One of our very first events here at Mayton. This thing popped a wheelie all the way down the 60 foot. All-wheel drive RS3 takes on the Fiat powered by Twin Chem 4AG 16 valve turbo. All the way down the track, ladies and gentlemen, right in lane, RS3 takes the win. Runs an 11.20, that's impressive, 11.20 for the RS3 at 1.99, Coco GP runs 11.45. How's everybody doing out here? Vatsiel on a good morning Sunday. Very close friend, my man, Michael Ludwig, ladies and gentlemen, has been documenting drag racing for almost two decades. I don't want to say how young he is, but almost two decades. One decade plus. Hello, Eugene. Did you bring your money? Show me your money. I want to see. Show me your money. You're bragging. Show me. How much is that? 1,000. You better go withdraw another 1,000. I'm going to take two from you today. Hey, all these people, yeah. You all better go find the closest ATM. I want hundreds. Only hundreds. Ladies and gentlemen, Strata Performance, left them lane. I'm a 135, lines up. 2 liters 16 valve, all-wheel drive. I'm a S3. Welcome to Cash Days. Oh, that's, that's me right there. That is all me right here. Right end lane, going all the way down the track. Once again, we got various food vendors, various food vendors right at the back, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not had breakfast, go grab yourself some cha. This is all me. No, not yet. Later, later, later. This is me, though. Ladies and gentlemen, many. Now, that's an old schooler, legendary racer. Formerly of the V8 brothers out in Germiston, has been racing V8s for many years. He's back at you. Takes on a very clean, original R32 GTR. This is so me right now. Yeah, I said. That is so me. I want one. All the way down, ladies and gentlemen, left hand lane, many runs within 11.02. Right hand lane ran an impressive 10.75, but took a second place. 11.20 for many, ladies and gentlemen, but T. Ferreira did an impressive 10.75. Many to Govea. To Jay-Z, baby Chris.
Line him up, line him up, line him up. I'm a baby Chris, left end lane, cool roller, takes on Pace Motorsports. I'm a 135. All the way down, ladies and gentlemen, the baby Chris is going to take a clean one and does so. I'm a little OTD with a lot here today, my bad. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got Fun Fakos up against Bornod. Why you scared my friend Tony like that? Ladies and gentlemen, we got CPR Honda goes up against the BMW 1000 RR. Fun Vake takes on Barnard. All the way down, ladies and gentlemen. Left in lane to the 64 to 1.6. Left in lane takes the win, ladies and gentlemen, at 966. Right in lane came in at 983. Believe it or not, the Honda just took the win away from the BMW. How much money did you bring, Stoyl? Eugene, Stoyl also said it's gonna take your money. Stoyl, the big math, that one. Old school, Fox, left in lane. The golf with the boot lines up, RS3, Strata Performance, right in lane. RS3 all-wheel drive for the win every single time. RS3 goes through the traps, ladies and gentlemen, with an impressive 1083. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say this again on an unprepped track. That RS3 just ran a 1083 at 217 kilometers per hour for Tain out here. Wow, that's impressive, man. Starting Motorsport, left in lane, PWMK1. Takes on. Quickly racing, goes also. Gale versus Naik. Once again, to all pit crew, no water on the intercoolers. To all pit crew, no water on the intercoolers. Left in lane goes through and takes an impressive one. Yes, he does. He does 11.52. 11.52 at 2.01. Left in lane, VW Golf. The diehards. The diehards. VW MK1 goes up against the Triple S. Twin cam for AGE, 16 valve, diehards. Do not mess around with these Owens. They know what street racing is all about. They brought it to the track tonight. Bruce Knight in the crew. Bruce Knight crew in the neighborhood. But the matter of takes on Jen State. That thing is out of here. You ain't messing around, baby. Old school Datsun. Oh, he runs out of steam there. I think he missed the gear. Right in lane overtakes him, rounds a 13, 19, 180.
four-part in three out here. Randy in 11 9 on his first run out. He's going to take an all-wheel drive old-school Audi 500. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Line them up, line them up. All-wheel drive Audi hops off the gates. Running the impressive 1.86 foot time. It's going to take the one away from Sav. He runs a right hand lane, runs 11.03. Sav runs another impressive 11.907. Running consistent 11.9s. Next up, it's a Bemptum, just like your boots. Takes on the beast. I'm a JC Power, Toyota Corolla. I oh, know this looks brave. You're very brave. Yes, you, you're brave. Yeah, no, that's brave. Diffy's out. Whoa, 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 Baba, whoa. Side shop, Diff, in your mother's auntie's. Stop. Out to the right. Short right, short right. McDonald's super size double cheeseburger. Short right, Baba, short right. All the way right, otherwise you don't get the super size fries. Right, Baba, right. That is how you order McDonald's at the track, ladies and gentlemen. Short right. Short right, super size, double cheeseburger. Here we come. The first breakage of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I think he snapped his side shaft. Th this okay is super brave. First of all, I wouldn't do 120 in a kit car. Just saying. Not even on the best beach. Just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, this thing here is fiberglass. All of it. They bolted it down onto your uncle's old school VW Beetle chassis. Then they took your grandfather's Rotary 13B, took that out of his capilla, put a big turbo on, put these very, very small roll bars, and then strapped the oak with no girlfriend because just went through a divorce and got nothing to like, you know, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. I wish you all the best. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Oil. Where? This side. Can we please check oil on this track? Or otherwise, we need to clean up this left lane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Otherwise, he is driving for VW Tech. They are based out in like Germiston Primrose area. They specialize in high-end restorations for all expensive VWs. You know this is fiberglass. I just want to let you know again there. Eh? I know you got big, big bells, but I'm just saying. Like I said, I wouldn't do 120 on the highway, on the normal one. Big up to everybody out here. We do appreciate your support. Once again, I'm going to ask that please keep these lanes, just the lanes clear so that the drivers can see marshals, marshals can see drivers as a brief. For all you Vit Owens that used to have hair, now you just got a, like a cheese corp, you must put sunblock or wear a cap. Otherwise, you're going to know about it in the shower later. Please, there's a whole bunch of uh, guys selling caps, hats and umbrellas. You'll see me, I'll borrow an umbrella a little bit later because it does get varm, yeah? X6M, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna run 12s quite comfortably. Do not forget to support the various food vendors and food trucks that are out here today. Big shout out to everybody that sacrificed their Sondag to keep us well fed. Hello. Such a beautiful girl. Wow. Turbo and Nas in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Your pops here, ne? Pops here, yeah? I think I, owe you, I still owe your pops money. I might have to win some more money on the bets.
Welcome back. We got Vic, the loudest porter in Africa. China. You know, how are you doing? You are doing such a brilliant job on the start line. How do you Bro. remember everybody? What's the vibe here? You know what? We've been doing this for a couple of years, man. We love motorsport in general in South Africa. I feel South African motorsport deserves so much more. So as a presenter, as an MC, as a commentator, our, our jobs is to amplify the naturally talented drivers and, and tuners that we have in this country. And that's all I do, you know. These oaks make my job so easy because they put so many hours, so much energy and so much passion into the sport here in South Africa. And you just, you know, this eventually after so many years, so many seasons, you just form like this big traveling circus family, bro. And the, 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 love. The, what you do from a, the cars are one bit of entertainment. Oh, yeah, but sure. in terms of the whole, I don't package. want to call it a circus, it's a okay. mood of a package. You add so much value. Oh, so I really, I'm on the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. I thank you, you know, ma'am. So I just, I love what I do. I'm very grateful to try and sort of, you know, make a, an income or make a lifestyle out of this. Yeah. It's really tricky making making a career out of motorsport in this country due to due to the economic state and social state that we're in at the moment but i'm very grateful for the position i hold i'm very grateful for what i represent in this country and again man you know i'm i'm such a small small teardrop in the ocean because but if you keep all of those little, you keep all those little drops if Yo. you put a million drops in a bucket it, yeah, it, it adds up it adds up you know so i just do what i do and i do it 110% to my best potential with the talents that God has bestowed on me and I'm just pushing hard out here, man. Vic, the loudest porter in Africa. Unbelievable. Keep up the good work. Yeah, it's Thanks, an honor. Enjoy the show with us, yeah? What a showman. What an entertainer. We've got action back on track now. We've got, check this beach buggy. Unbelievable. Gotta love this stuff. I'm having fun. Back to you guys in the box. Burki with a big end, you know the big ones that give you PKs back to Cape Town, I'm just saying. He's actually he used to be an official traffic cop, so he is from the old era. They used to pull you off with a skyline with a big bumper in front. You know I was this small, but that that oak. He has now he has now come over to the dark side. Here ladies and gentlemen rocking the Rotary 13B turbocharged. Oh, that's how we clean up oil up here. Anybody got uh, marshmallows? Once again, pick it up to everybody out there, man. We love you. We appreciate you. To all our media, we got Michael Ludwig. We got Sean. Right, there's a bit of oil and a bit of junk on the track. It's not a fire. It's not an accident. It's on purpose. They're getting rid of all the junk on the track. Keep the grip down. Remember, this is one-on-one. -on -one, so if the one lane is compromised, guys, got a bit of a problem. It's kind of, it's different. I've never seen that done. And I'm not a, I'm not a drag scar, but that's the way they do it. It's all clean. It's all lacquer. We had one of the cars break down a, dri a drive shaft. One of the other guys dropped some its guts of its car on the track. Sort it out now. Now you've got some grip back. Back to you guys in the studio. On a beautiful Sunday with your girlfriends, your grandmothers, your uncles, your ex-wives that you're trying to get in there again. It's all good. You're allowed to get together with your ex-wife. Do it for your kids, bro. You know it's all good. We just got to quickly clean up an oil spill. But sincerely, I buy a huge donkey. See ya, Boanga. Obrigado, man. Thanks so very much. We full up all the way down the drag strip, and that is what drag racing should be like every single meeting here in South Africa. So much love and appreciation goes to each and every one of you. How's breakfast? Breakfast good? How's the cooler boxes? Everybody with the ice cold beer at half past 10 in the morning, raise them high. Don't worry, I won't tell you what. Raise your ice cold beers. I know it's half past 10. Don't pretend you're not drinking beer. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your honesty. The rest of you all drinking old brown sherry because it's that cold, I guess. Ne? I'm an OBS special. Where's my friends from KPEX? Hello, friends from KPEX. For all you people that come from Kempton Park, that's what we call you, Capex Owens. Yeah, Capex. Make noise, Capex. All the people that came all the way from Kempton Park, make some noise, you Capex Owens and Macy Kinder. Kempton Park being represented here. Little bit of a, I'm a cement. I'm a cleanup crew. 
Once again, a big shout out to 011 Street Society, ladies and gentlemen, hosting this in conjunction with Midval Raceway, along with a host of sponsors. I'm going to drop you some sponsors a little bit later today. Big shout out to everybody in the community of Midval as well as Mayerton for helping us grow the drag racing events here at Midval Raceway, man. As you'll know, motorsports is in dire need of help. Not just from the spectators, but financially, bro. We're doing the best we can with the tracks that are available to us. They're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for your patience. Feel free to go grab yourself some early breakfast. Maybe an ice cold cooler. Michael's been hitting the gym again, I see. It went from the baggy t-shirt to the tight under armor. I'm, I'm, I've been seeing, I'm paying him attention, bro. I saw his photo shoot there, turbo, what, what. I was like, ah, oh, this is just making me feel bad. Once again, safety is a priority. Safety is a priority and main concern at any given event. Even when Stoyle's not racing, we've got to make sure the track is free of oil because Stoyle struggles to keep the BMW straight. So even if he's spectating, we've got to make sure everything's safe. You are a nice guy. Hello. How you all doing out here? Right, we're back in the, st the, the, the pit area, and this is the queue for practice lines. We actually came to start looking for, I tell you what, Moeti, you turn around, I'll walk backwards. So Moeti, you can give you an idea of, of what's going on here. Fiat X19s with turbos in here, check here. It is proper power, lovely stuff. Uh, and he's in the slick class, he's got proper drag slicks on it. Another uh, X19. He's got road tires on it, different class, a little bit less modified. We're looking for the blue car that caused all the, its drive shaft broke. Here it is, it's over here. So the drive shaft broke and it pumped out uh, oil onto the track. That's what they were busy sorting out. We're going to walk all the way down the back here. Mitsubishi's. It's called the Ghost. The, the Ghost 3, Mitsubishi, they launch like hell. 135s, all turboed got proper stuff in here there's a big edelbrock underneath here you can get an idea there's huge blooming uh, horsepower out of here you'll, again you'll see another BMWs check this out here Nissan GTR turbos it's beautiful look at just the quality of workmanship on it it is just really nice we've about reached the limit of our uh, uh, check the sticker here Moeti street legal brother because we dice on the road back up to get closer to the link we're learning all about uh, limits of where we are on the pits an old school opal because it's front wheel drive you can see how skinny the, the little back tires are he's got skinny back tires because you've got less drag less drag down this down the strip gives you uh, higher speed more acceleration that's what it's all about the judge this thing here is we're gonna have a bit of a look just now We'll come back and have a, a look under the, under the hood. This is a proper, proper drags car. And right next door to it, an Escort. An Escort with a V8, a twin turbocharged V8. Just look how beautifully made it, it is. It is absolutely. Moeti, come closer, brother. Come around here, Moeti. We, uh, everything, there's so many people here. All the pits are really blocked off. Just look how nice and the welding, the bends, two turbos, inlets in here, proper V8, wastegates, just lovely. Aerial Atom, who would have thought that we'd have a, an Aerial Atom? Lovely space frame, it's light, it's got huge power, it goes like stink. And then, and you'll notice all the way around the back, everybody's got their tents, they've got a, 
it's a huge setup. This is busier than busy. Rear wheel drive, no prep there. This is what we hear about, guys. No prep, cash days. Cash days, bottom line. You pay an entry fee, it all goes into the pot, broken down in each class, dished out. And then the great part about cash days is they, they, there's a minimum of 50 grand in the pot. They're going to give a, we don't know how much it's going to be. They'll add it up later. Around about lunchtime, we'll discover how much it is. And then the real fun part is the betting and the side betting. We'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, uh, just thought you'd like to see a little bit of stuff down in the pit lane for 011 Street Society. No prep, cash days. Back to you guys in the box. He only eats oats in the morning and doesn't eat for the rest of the day. 47 kilos, that's how you get fast out here. Right in lane, ladies and gentlemen, Quinton Kutza on the right in lane single run. All 47 kilos. Shia, Baba, Shia, Baba, Shia! Reaction 64 to 1.55, crosses the traps in an impressive. 937, 937 at 234 kilometers per hour. Oh, let, let's make this dramatic. Kill the music, kill the music. We'll make this dramatic. Ladies and gentlemen, possibly the fastest car here today. I give you Craig Zanks, Toyota Supra 2JZ, making over 1,600 horsepower. It actually makes 2,000, but I'm not supposed to let you know. 1,600 horsepower. 2JZ rear-wheel drive, possibly the fastest car on the property, is going to run a single run on the right-hand lane. Get your cell phones out, get your cell phones out, make sure you record this. All the people that are watching down the strip, please stay alert and aware of your surroundings, especially of the 2JZ Supra Zank Racing coming down. One of the fastest cars on the property yet today, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh! Vatsie Yella, no. The dramatic silence. We got some really fast cars here. This is possibly one of the fastest cars on the property here today. It does make clear over 1,600 horsepower on the rear wheels. It is based on the 2JZ, the original motor found in this car, created in the mid-90s. It is a Toyota Supra. You're ready, you're ready, you're ready. Eh? Ladies and gentlemen, get your cell phones out. Press the red button. It is the record. First one of the day for the one and only Craig Zank in the building. Listen, 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 listen to the baby purr. Here we go, single run. Whoa, za. Hard right, ladies and gentlemen, has to back off the power, gets back in it. Does a 60 foot a 1.4, which is flying, struggles there with it all the way down and runs a 10.15. Ah, you can do better than that. That car's well capable of eight seconds. Runs 10.15 on his very first pass, Archer. Give us some music back in the game, ladies and gentlemen. That is Zank Racing in the 1,600 horsepower. I'm a 2JZ Supra. Off the launch, he hit a very strong, aggressive right. Had to get off the power. Went back in the power. Then a little bit of clutch slippage or something all the way down. There was some... Uh, Wong Wong, Wong Wong, all the way down. Was that dramatic enough for you? We got some more fast cars in the building. We got, I think, about four eight second cars in the building here today. Please understand that the high powered cars do struggle down the track. There is no track part, there is no track cushion. This, ladies and gentlemen, is cash days.
Left in lane, 1400, I'm a champ, lines up, Golf 7R, 2 liters, 16 valve, all-wheel drive, by QT Performance, supported by CPI. Oh, just like that, we got another Supra in the mix. Everybody just banging the imports out here, man. Oh, hello. Hey, Brian. Well, welcome. Th this is what, what drags is all about. Nice to see you piloting. Michael Barata, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a South Cartel, M2, right in lane. The infamous German versus Jap. Toyota Supra from the 90s. Takes on a 2018 BMW, I'm a M2 Power. Line him up, line him up, line him up. I said one more time, German versus Jap in the building. You right here at Midval Drags in the heart of Mayerton. Chilling with Big Pot Al Lattis, white boy on African soil. Hope you're having a good day with us, man. I would have also pulled off first. I'm just saying I would have also pulled off first. I'm just being honest, huh? Well done, Michael. I would have done that south move as well. You, you learn that when you grow up in the south. Don't wait for the fast car. Just get out here. You, you have now been upgraded to the Supra race. Good luck. Right. Oh, no, we got to upgrade. Shift him there. Shift him in there. Ladies and gentlemen, right and left here, we battle, we battle, we battle. Gets a little bit of bog. Hey, 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 hey. Finnig en voes, Baba, finnig en voes. Left and lane, ladies and gentlemen, takes the win within 11.61. 11.61 at 1.92. Right and lane came in at a 12.90. Yo, RCB bringing the toys, huh? RCB is definitely bringing the toys. <laughs> yes, sir. This man is very angry. His wife did not make him any breakfast this morning. Please buy this Mayan breakfast. He's very angry, huh? Left hand lane, ladies and gentlemen. Fiat X19 lines up. The aerial atom in the right. <laughs> it wasn't at you, it was on the floor. Here we go. Fiat X19. Aerial Atom, right in lane. Uh, let's restart them. It's going to be a good race. Let's restart them. Let's not waste that race. You'll know you're right here, ladies and gentlemen. Midval Dregs with some of the fastest cars on this property, you right here in the heart of Mayerton with Big Pot Al, loudest white burn African soil, son. Right in lane, left in lane, let's play this. <laughs> left in lane gets a great start off the line. Wow, very aggressive, lightweight machines all the way down. Left in lane takes the win with a 1073, wow. 1073 for the little Fiat X19 runs 224. Right in lane RCB runs an impressive 10831 at 225. Yeah, ne? 
Line him up, line him up. We've got my boy Theo coming through once again, representing Speed and Sound, your number one performance magazine. Another Fiat X19. Welcome to Cash Days in the heart of Mayerton, Midvale. Vati Elements on this beautiful morning. You see, ice cold beer at quarter to 11. Well done. You're strong, you're strong. South boy, bro. No, South boy. I feel you, I feel you. Some more beers at quarter to 11. Yes, well done, well done. Owens, Owens. You better share the biltong or the flace. That's all I got to say. And, I, and when I mean flace, I mean meat, not your ex-girlfriend. I'm just saying, yeah? don't get it distorted. We got to keep it clean here. Yeah? There's PG kids around you. How's everybody doing out here? You having a good day? Once again, if I do miss the time, the times, I know you're going to struggle maybe to see if it's on the right-hand lane, right-hand section of the big billboard. I'll show you a little bit later. Everybody got their hats on. Hello, sir. How are you? We're going to fetch your bra. Telling me, well, I don't want 10 second runs here with a Supra. I want eight. Maybe it's gone the other way. Here we go, two super bikes on the line. Daryl is learning how to grow horsepower on the line. Water the horsepower. This is Daryl from Speed and Sound. He's gonna water some horsepower there for, for my boy Theo. On your way back on the return road, find us Craig Zank, we lost him. I'm a GSXR, left in lane. Ah, Busa, right in lane. Big it up to everybody out here, you'll know you live here, boss, why you us. All the way down the battle, battle, battle. 60 foot of 1.6 on the left hand lane. My times. 9.8 and 9.2. Ladies and gentlemen, speed and sound. We got Theo, AKA the Hitman in the old school 200 TS Opel. Are you ready to rock him with the Opal 2? I'm a Fiat X19 left hand lane. Rear wheel drive versus front wheel drive. Line them up, line them up, line them up, line them up, line them up. All the way for the win, ladies and gentlemen. Big man Theo, 200 TS, Opal, proudly brought to you by Speed and Sound. Runs a 60 foot of 1.9. Goes through all the way for the quarter mile, takes the win. Runs a 1291, 1291 at 209 kilometers per hour. Ooh. Hello, Mitsubishi Evo. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Satish, AKA the Hurricane. Riding for Joburg Auto, taking the right in lane. You see this big thing in the front? It's so that he doesn't bump the wall of his garage. Here we go, here we go. You know when you get to the garage, you need to know. Both leaving the line prematurely. Here we go, here we go. Two 1400 champs left and right. AJ Racing in the mix. Rotary 13B, power. Lines up, another two and camp for AG 16 valve, I presume. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this at home on the live stream, I hope you're in the neighborhood. If you're hoping the neighborhood comes through to Midvale. <laughs> 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 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a left hand lane powered by 13P Rotary. Right hand lane, I assume it is a twin cam for AG 16V. Oh, sorry, my bad, 1400. Push rod, turbocharged. The original motor from the champ. Up a rotary left hand lane. Proudly brought to you by AJ Racing. Sponsored by HEC Hydraulics as well as Elitech. Line them up, line them up, line them up, line them up. for a 1.6 right hand lane all the way down all the way down all the way down we battle ladies and gentlemen left hand lane is going to take the win yes he does he runs an 11.56 against 12.26 oh. ladies and gentlemen another contender for the fastest car on the property Another contender for the fastest car in the property. Racing Boys 13B Rotary Turbo. I just want to know if you brought money. I'm going to take people's money. Bring your hundreds. Don't come with fifties. We're above that now. We're on the hundred rand notes. Yeah, you, you go fetch your son. Ladies and gentlemen, a contender for the fastest car on the property. Racing Boys 13P Rotary Turbo. millions ladies and gentlemen i say this one more time it is possibly one of the fastest cars on the property as well we got pete in the right hand lane rotary 13b turbo Woo! this lane sending everybody very aggressively to the right lane Right in lane runs a very chilled, chilled, chilled 1170. Very, very chilled for that car. 222 kilometers per hour. I say again, that is a very, very chilled car, chilled run. Also, eight second contender. Big up to everybody out here, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cash Days. Right in the heart of Midval Raceway in Mayerton with some of the fastest cars on Joburg streets. Strata performance in my left hand lane. Owens. Apologies, we just need to clear the section. Bring him, bring him. Once again, Alma. Everybody, we need to clear this section for the next five minutes real quick. <laughs> How many people does it take to push a 2,000 horsepower Supra? Three Owens and a quad. Uh, well, push, pull, either. Push, Baba, push! Ah, uh, Baba, you're making yourselves look weak, huh? You must have bulldog in your pup. I told you the Super makes 2,000 horsepower, but it's only like three man powered pushing. It's all good. Uh, also, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Kim 
a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's Craig Zank in the building with his uh, 1,600 horsepower plus Supra. Being pushed by like three Owens in a quad. I just want to know if the quad broke down or the Supra or both. Because it looks complicated from here. I'm just saying. Did, did, y'all, did y'all put all the race fuel in the Supra and forget to put juice in the quad? Because that's something I would do. Uh, give the man a round of applause. The guy who's sitting on the quad is working so hard. He's watching all his friends push. Oh, no, oh, you see, I made him feel bad. My bad, my bad. Yeah, let the Supra push the quad home. I agree, that's a better idea. Give those ladies and gentlemen a round of applause. That just looked like a complicated situation, I must just say. How you doing? All good, all good. They need to upgrade the quad. This is Cash Days. Once again, big up to everybody out here, bro. We appreciate you coming through. Thousand six hundred horsepower plus Supra back in the pits. Line him up, line him up. Rear wheel drive, Strata Performance, BMW, I'm a 135. Uh, lines up, S3, all wheel drive, right hand lane. Ooh. Ah. The money has arrived. All the way down the track, ladies and gentlemen, side by side. Oh, it's going to be a tight race all the way down. BMW in the front and takes the win. Yes, he does, ladies and gentlemen. Left hand lane runs the win with a 10 lane, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a BMW M5 a V8 Twin Turbo. Lines up, Pace Motorsports 135 in the left end lane. All wheel drive. And that's the same car that is going to take his family down to Cape Town next week, Sunday. Ne? Right end lane, M5 runs an impressive 1146. 11.46 at 196 kilometers per hour. Left hand lane, 11.82. Baby Crusader, left hand lane. Lines up the super clean. I'm a BMW M4. M4, Baba, M4. Are you all having a good time? Are you having a good time? You should have been here. I'm M4 BMW, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a right hand lane. Takes on old school baby crest, left hand lane. Bubbles dropping them Afrikaans tracks like he was married to one, huh? Rocking it, baby. Ah, oh, Bubbles not even paying attention. Oh, you gotta love race day on a Sunday! Quentin Kutsate in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen, representing RCB. VB out in left hand lane. 
This is a brand new BMW Ama M4, 1.6 million rand in the right hand lane, looking sexy. Single run. Quinton Kutza. I'm a RCB racing right hand lane. Takes on VR, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a left hand lane. Shake the air. Shake that bum bum. Rion Borno takes on Quinton Kutza. Rion in my left hand lane, ladies and gentlemen, in blue and white. Quinton Kutza in black and red, representing RCB. The steady focus of a camera, ne? Notice, steady, focus. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Quentin Kutzer gets out the hole, 1.579, 60 foot time, and he's going to go all the way for the victory, crosses the traps in an impressive 9.45, Rian does a Only Honda on the property in the form of the superbike takes on another S thousand RRPM. Yo, yeah, it's sticky. It's uh, just uh, just in case you didn't catch that, it's sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to MPH Chip Tuning, ladies and gentlemen, our sponsors. For this event, right hand lane runs a 930, 951, 951, 240 kilometers per hour. Left hand lane does a 973. <laughs> Thirteen B Rotary Turbo. Ah, this is my car right here. This one, yeah. If you were a girl. If you were a Macy Kent, I'll take you out on a date in your own car. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an original R32 Nissan Skyline fitted with a six cylinder, 2.6 turbocharged motor. I'm a RB26. Damn! That's my car right there, R32 Nissan Skyline, all the way for the win. Runs a 10.44 at 226 kilometers per hour. I'm a 10.44 at 226, left hand lane does a 12.1. And just like that, we got an R33. From an R32, ladies and gentlemen, to an R33 Nissan Skyline, 2.6 RB, all wheel drive. Sexy, ne? I'm a sexy. Left and lane lining up. Big shout out goes up to Full Boost Performance, Chaparit Food Trailer, Ice Motorsport, Racing Boys in the Building, Strata Performance, RCP. MPH, Zank Racing, RCB Racing. Damn! Those skylines are rude. All the way down, single run, ladies and gentlemen, is going to cross the traps <laughs> and run a 12.22. Ah, you can do better than that. SLB Projects, ladies and gentlemen, Paste Motorsport, Gusto, SG Productions. Psycho Racing and William Tyre Corporation, man. Everybody coming on board to make this event successful today.
and that is one example why you should have been right here at Midvale Raceway because we got some serious super fast cars out here, man. Old school baby Christina left in lane, old school 1400 this and champ. Both cars rear wheel drive. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, right in lane, right in lane, right in lane, absolutely out of here. Money in the bank, baby, money in the bank, right in lane. Van der Veste is in runs a quarter mile of 10.14, 10.14, 215 kilometers per hour. Money in the bank, money in the bank. Next up, SNM Motorworks. Once again, big shout out to all you wonderful viewers joining us on live stream. Hope you're having a good day. It is Sunday. Make sure you spend it with your family, friends. If you are not yet at Midvale, I hope you're doing something great. What's important is that you're watching us on live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, s and Motorworks in my left hand lane. Big it up, big it up, big it up, big it up. You love most. This is Sunday. Right here at Cash Days. Thank you, Bobs. Here we go. E rotary thirteen P turbo, Baba. How much money you lot you got today? <laughs> 1410 Bucky powered by a Super Boss turbocharged motor. Something's not right with the 13B. Single run, right in lane. Single run, right in lane. Something's gone wrong with the proudly South African fishing vehicle. Right in lane, all the way by himself. Powered by an Opel Superbar 16V. Crosses the traps, ladies and gentlemen. Backed off the power end at 10.58, 10.56, 10.56. At 216 kilometers per hour. Powered by a super boss Opel 16 valve motor. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the Mac Daddy 35 Nissan Skyline V6 twin turbo all wheel drive. Takes on the very humble turbocharged Golf MK1. Front wheel drive VW turbo charge lines up the all wheel drive V6 twin turbo 35. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Fetch him, Baba, fetch him. All the way for an easy one will be the skyline. Runs a 10.68 at 205 kilometers per hour. VW MK1 runs a 13.45 at 178. Oh, 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 oh. The big boys are out. Ladies and gentlemen, RCB in the neighborhood, right hand lane. Old school Emma MK1 Ford Escort. Hey, 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 powered V8 twin turbo. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a V8 twin turbo powered old school I'm a MK1 Ford Escort. Line him up, line him up. Ladies and gentlemen, runs a very chilled out 13-2 for his very first run of the day. Is that a 188? We're going to hold you up. We're going to hold you up. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is Cash Days at Midvale Raceway in the heart of Mayerton. Big shout out to the whole community in the deep south of Johannesburg for coming out to support this event. My name is Vic Pot, our loudest white boy on African soil. Always a pleasure, always an honor. We're just going to wait for the Big Mac Daddy V8 Twin Turbo Ford Escort to make his way back. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a very humble VW MK1 Fox, otherwise known as Jetta, depending which way you come from. He takes on a very good friend of mine, Sav, ladies and gentlemen, going to be driving a BMW I'm a four-pipe E46 turbocharged. He's well-respected and well-feared amongst the circuit racing boys. Built some really, really powerful cars, including the judge. Let's see. We're going to do a single run here by my boy Sev. Here we go, rear wheel drive versus front wheel drive. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a safe speed. Lines up, VW Fox. E46 M3, baba. Front wheel drive, VW Fox takes on rear wheel drive, 46. Save speed in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Save speed in the building. Here we go, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the lights, watch the lights, watch the lights. Much better launch by Sev in the E46. Supercar money in the left hand lane. Supercar money in the left hand lane. Crosses the traps the quarter mile time. Oh, my word. Ladies and gentlemen, he runs an 11 2. Oh, I'm going to have to buy that oak some lunch. 11 2 at 212 kilometers per hour. I am going to have to buy Sev Speed some lunch. I just lost my bet. Ladies and gentlemen, Sav Speed runs in 11.26 at 212 kilometers per hour. Damn, I owe that Italian guy some lunch. I said he wouldn't go quicker than 11.5 here today. I just lost some money. Next up on my right-hand lane, we got that supercar money. One more time, I say, show me, show me, show me, show me that ka Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Show me the money! Right hand lane, ladies and gentlemen, runs 18.56 at 216 kilometers per hour. Left hand lane runs 11.58 at 170. Hey, can I have paramedic? My paramedic. Paramedics, can I please have a paramedic up here on the start line? Can I please have one of my paramedics here at the start line immediately and quickly? 
Yo, Bubbles, cut the beat real quick. Yo, I need my paramedics up here at the start line immediately as a belief. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Left hand lane, right here, right here, right here, right here. Quickly, gentlemen, quickly. Thank you very much for the quick alertness. I'm just gonna, oh no, you can put the music back on. Now no, you're gonna make it awkward, huh? I'm just saying. Right, we got the paramedics on board. Right, we good, we good, he's good, he's good. Let's go, let's go. Let's get back to the show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Paramedics are seeing to the gent. Hit it up, hit it up, hit it up. I'm an S1000 RR. Line him up, line him up, line him up. Smoke it up proper, baba. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. All the way by himself. Next up, next up. What a great day to be out racing. I'm coming. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to get the lunch done first. Big shout out to Williams Tire Corporation, ladies and gentlemen. Ice Motorsports in the building. Left and lane, ladies. Did run A1191. 1191 for the left and lane. Oil drive Audi lines up. I'm a V8 Turbo. Baby Chris.
I'm a Lexus V8 turbocharged left in lane in the BP Cressida. Five cylinder turbo on the right in lane Audi. Taking it back, Baba. Taking it back. I'm a 90 style. When you were first cruising in the Vrupa, I'm a VR6, son. Line them up side by side, red on powder blue. All wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. V8 versus five cylinder. Both turbocharged right here at Midval. Drags. Cash days, boy. Oh, the V8 on the money, 60 foot of 2.05. Ah, oh, that all-wheel drive's gonna have to try harder, harder. Left and lane takes the win, ladies and gentlemen, with 11.53 at 203 kilometers per hour. Quentin Kutzer, where's your homies? Why are you racing by yourself? Where's all my bikers at? Quentin needs a friend. My boy Tony getting some tans on those white legs. You know when the Oaks train so hard at the gym, but they don't get outside in the sunshine. I'm just saying. Oh, yes. Come, come. Please, please. Quentin, just hold up. We don't like single runs. There ain't no fun racing singles. Thank you, sir. Tony. Tony. 15 minutes less in the gym, 15 minutes more by the pool. I'm just saying, huh? Mad love to my boy Tony, South boy in the building. Antonio. Thank you, Quentin, for taking the race. We appreciate it. Side by side. RCB takes on the S1000. I'm a RR left in lane. We got Lopes here going up again, Quentin Kutza. Oh, this is my kind of ride, huh? Just so sexy. I got a black one, but it's just a whole bunch slower. Right in lane, gonna go all the way for the easy win. Quentin Kutza, the lightweight, goes through and takes the traps with an impressive. 9.39 at 227 kilometers per hour. Ooh wee! Finnegan and Vus is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Supra. Ladies and gentlemen, Toyota Supra right in lane. Gets the start a little bit squeakly. Hey, 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 Baba, was that the wrong gear? You want to bend valves or what? There's too much pressure on Supra drivers. Everybody watches them, you know what I'm saying? Right in lane, I hope that wasn't the wrong gear because otherwise all valves tuned you, how's it? Right in lane, Toyota Supra, ladies and gentlemen, makes a very nervous pass all the way down the track, right in lane. What time did he run? Too slow for me to mention. I won't even mention his time. He was slower than what he should have been. Next up, I'm a Quattro S3 all-wheel drive. Polo 1.9 diesel, recycling Nando's oil since 1999. That's how you make fast diesels. You get the oil from Nando's. Because the oil from Nando's has got all the peri-peri that's dropped into it. You know what I'm saying? And you need peri-peri to make a car go fast. 
Here we go. You see? Oh, you know, maybe there were, maybe you ate the hot, hot, very hot one. You should have kept the medium hot. Don't eat very hot. You must eat the medium hot. Otherwise, you guys are going to struggle there. Here we go. I'm very impressed with your time, huh? You're running very well. Very impressed with that RS3. He's running really, really strong out here today. This little champ still running the 1.4 push rod turbocharged motor. Believe it or not, it is the truth. So impressed with that very strong RS3. Big shout out to ATS. 011 Street Society in the building. Right hand lane, Far Swanapool runs 1126 at 205. 1126 left hand lane also run 1122. The pop up screen, Shavash left. Thank you. No, not that one. The, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Having some communication with everybody, bro. Big shout out to the whole team here. There's a lot of people involved in making this event a success. Again, I just want to say, Satish strategically put this thing here so he doesn't bump the front of his car at the garage. When he pulls into the garage and he nudges, then he knows he's shot. Here we go, left and lane all the way down. We got a mini in the building. For all you Owens that wear Puma sneakers, I know you drive minis Monday to Fridays. Thank you. Someone has brought me a silver chain, ladies and gentlemen. If you lost a silver chain, there's a good Christian boy that just ran and hooked me up a silver chain. If anybody's lost the chain, come see me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a TTRS. Uh, 200 kilograms lighter than the RS3 hatch. What a beautiful car. It is the TTRS right in lane lining up against Shatish. Repping team Joburg Auto Tech here today. Old school super boss turbo. If you drove a GTI in 1999, you hated a super boss. I'm just letting you know. Ah, Satish, you are looking for second gear for eight seconds. What's wrong with you? I know Satish, he knows where second gear is. He's not a DSG boy. Right hand lane, ladies and gentlemen, runs a 1154. <laughs> Him up, line him up all the way down. Old school deaths in left hand lane. Takes the win, ladies and gentlemen, with the 1141. Right hand lane runs at 1292. Just like that, thank you. 011 Street Society. Angels and Sons doing front wheel drives. Burnouts with the RS3. No interior required. I'm a RS3, ladies and gentlemen. Right hand lane lines up the Big Mac Daddy X6M rocking for SUV performance.
Once again to all pit crew, no water on the intercoolers. To all pit crew, no water on the intercoolers. Left hand lane's gonna take the win with a 1271 at 194 kilometers per hour. Right lane, almost 16 zero zero with 197. Are you listening to the words? You must be listening to the words of the song, huh? For all you English-speaking Portuguese wannabes, you must listen to the words. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, angels and sons. I'm a left in lane, I'm a 135. Lines up, the Big Mac Daddy 35, Skyline. That was almost like a premature something. Don't know how to exactly put that into words. There was a premature involvement of something. Left hand lane takes the win, ladies and gentlemen. 11.24, right hand lane comes in at a 14.8. Big shout out, MSLB in the building. M2 back on the track, left hand lane. The glorious sound of an M2. MPH, ladies and gentlemen, right in lane, TTRS lines up. Oh, M2. All the way down. Oh, man, looks like the M2 is going to take the one away from the TT. Yes, he does. M2 runs a 12.03. Best run of the day. Best run of the day for the M2. Runs a 12.03 at 195. TT runs a 13.7. Ooh. For all you people that didn't believe in Bitcoin. <laughs> JP to the start line, I believe. For all you Owens that don't believe in Bitcoin. You see this car here? That gentleman's 18 years old. He bought it with his own ching. Bitcoin boy. He's 18. I say it again. He's 18 years old, not daddy, not mommy. His own money, ladies and gentlemen, trading in Bitcoin. That's Tian in the left hand lane, ladies and gents. Or maybe should be. Maybe someone else is driving. Here we go. Left lane, Audi. Right hand lane, ladies and gentlemen, takes the one away from the heavyweight. Coco runs 11 cis, 11 cis, 197.8. Left hand lane, Big Mac Daddy R8 runs at 12 2. We need some super bikes on the line, some bikes on the line. We're waiting for bikes. Paste Motorsport. <laughs> Left and lane runs a comfortable win with a 13 11, 1375 at 193. Another 2JZ Toyota Hilux. Takes on a Golf 7R. Golf 7R, ladies and gentlemen, right in lane runs up against a rear wheel drive Toyota Hilux 2JZ.
boys out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, 2JZ Supra runs a 60 foot of 1.6 and crosses the traps and an impressive 10.13, 10.13 at 220 kilometers per hour. Yo, cut the beat, cut the beat, cut the beat. Ladies and gentlemen, another contender for the fastest car on the property. RCB Rian Mayers, V8 Twin Turbo Ford Mustang. Round of applause, all you Ford fans. You've been driving Ford Escorts for 20 years and now you're, you, now you're the hero today because now there's a really fast Ford on the property. All you Ford Ranger Owens as well, y'all can give yourselves a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, a contender for the fastest car on the property. Rian Mayers, Ford Mustang, V8 Twin Turbo Monster. Who will be the fastest car of the day here at Cash Days? Ladies and gentlemen, Rian Mayer lines up on the right hand lane. Who will be the fastest car on the property here today at Cash Days? You ready, you ready, you ready? Rian Mayer, right hand lane. Ladies and gentlemen, 60 foot of 1.2, the fastest 60 foot of the day, and he crosses the traps in. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest car of the day, 8.45, 8 seconds and 45 at 266 kilometers per hour. 8.45 at 266, the fastest car of the day, the fastest car on the property at this moment in time. He's going to make a U-turn and come straight back. Give him a round of applause as he drives past you, ladies and gentlemen. That is Rian Mayer with officially the fastest car on the property to date. He's just run an 8.45 at 266 kilometers per hour across the 400 meter mark. Representing RCP. Make some noise. Give him a round of applause as he makes his way straight back. Something bra, what, what, Victor, what, what? What seven seconds away? We're waiting. Officially, this one's right now the fastest. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause. Rian Mayer. Fastest car on the property as we are presently standing. 8.45 at 2.66. And again, ladies and gentlemen, just got to say this again, no prep. This is a no prep event. There is no track bite on the track in any way or allowed. That's flying, drive e baby Chris <laughs> APRs BWG7 versus cool roller all the way 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 down the track left in lane takes the win Lynx Lane takes the win at 10.6 at 229 kilometers per hour. 11.45 for the G7. They line up.
Right hand lane runs at 9.36, at 2.56, left hand lane 9.65. Big shout out once again goes to Full Boost, ladies and gentlemen, Ice Motorsport Racing Boys. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. You should have been here if you're watching this from a live stream. You should have been here right here. It's Miss Vall. This is 011 Street Society's cash days in conjunction with Midvale Raceway. All the way down, right hand lane is going to take the win. And he does so with the 1162 at 194. Left hand lane runs 1171. Next up, another Fiat X19. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right hand lane. When you really want to drive a Kawasaki, but your wife says you can't drive a bike no more, so you got to build a bike, a car. That's what happens here. Yeah? Green Goblin on the right hand lane lines up, paced Motorsports 135. Hope these guys are having a super blast. All the way down the lane, ladies and gentlemen, the Green Groblin. I'm a Fiat X19, X16, X19. Too many numbers. Here we go. Runs a 11.33 at 2.02. I presume 11.73 at 2.02. 12.54 left in lane. Sure, 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 sure. Ladies and gentlemen, in right lane. Is that Andre? <laughs> My brother Andre. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Andre. On my right hand lane takes on the G7. Andre, ladies and gentlemen, is an auto electrician by trade. He's kind of really, really, really good. We call him Magic Hands. chicken not your oats andre from tulisa park stop putting nando's peri peri in your oats in the morning way too much vuma for you way too much vuma someone please downgrade that guy to a golf 1.4 chico jamie's my bra is actually a good friend of mine just decided to like rip up half of the Let me guess, did he damage the lines? Broken. Oh, sh Oh, lovely. Andre! Yo! Beep, 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 beep. Hunt. Ah, oh, my friend Andre, ladies and gentlemen, has just decided to take out our senses. Please give that man a round of applause when he comes back. Yeah, no, he, des he deserves, please give him a bells. I don't think he'll be racing for the rest of the day. Mabra Andre from Tulisa Park. Yeah, sorry. Big sorry. There goes our senses. We got to just make a plan, yeah? 
Trip filler timing's gonna make something happen. Oh, you got a spare? Yeah, your last one. Just make sure that it doesn't drive in the right lane. Ladies and gentlemen, Trafella Timing is the wonderful organization that we use on a regular in and around South African tracks. They amazingly have one spare, the final spare of the day. This is your 60 foot sensor, ladies and gentlemen. Gives us the 60 foot times of the day. Can we please have a round of applause for Trafella Timing? He's managed to find one sensor. Please downgrade my friend Andre to a 1.6, I mean a 1.4 Golf Chico, front wheel drive. Carburetor, not even injection. Just the old carb. Where is he? This is my friend Tiny Tony. He looks like he's 12 years old, but he's probably as old as your brother or father, just depending which age bracket you're at. He does look 12. He is married, so don't try and offer him your 18 year old daughter. He's a bit older than that. We love you, Tony. And your Batman hat. He does, you know, Tony, it doesn't help that you're wearing a kiddie's hat. I'm just saying. You look like you went to Mr. Price Kitty's section and got yourself a hat, and now everybody thinks you're 18. No, no, don't show them your head. Everybody will know your age. Put your head back on. Put your head back on. My boy Tony, ladies and gentlemen, with his beautiful fro Barbara, just uh, did a whirlwind trip to the States. It's actually, can you believe it? It's almost a year. It's almost a year that South Africans went and represented South Africa at Maryland. Four of our very, very best, including Booty Butler, my boy Marius, who actually piloted that car, is here today. Did a world record, the fastest BMW in the world belongs to us South Africans. Booty Butler, piloted by Marius Oerstazen, who is actually here today, ran a 651. Fastest BMW in the world. They were accompanied by Dupi Duplessis, who also ran his personal best of 722. Quinton Bolin ran his personal best in the turbocharged Opel Honda. Oh, sorry, Opel. My bad. Turbocharged Honda Civic ran, I think, an 840 something. Unfortunately, Ian Repsol also attended but ran into struggles throughout the day. Those were the four Owens and teams that traveled to Maryland, one hour away from Washington, to represent South Africa in domestic versus imposed Altec World Cup finals. Just double checking the sensors. Can you test the sensor for us, please? Must I walk past you? How's everyone doing here? You're still good? You got about 15 minutes and then you can officially open your lunchtime beer, not your burabos. That's for one o'clock. Once again, my name is Vic Potter, our loudest white boy on African soil, host on Ignition TV channel 189. Hit me up and tune in SA. Brand new season about to start in the next few weeks. Otherwise, hit me up on my social media. I'm a friendly kind of guy. V-I-C, my surname, like my dad used to call me, Pardal, P-A-R-D-A-L. This, ladies and gentlemen, is 011 Street Society's Cash Days in conjunction with Midvale Raceway. Whole bunch of sponsors on board, including MPH, Ice Motorsports, Strata Performance, just to name a few. Are we back online? Almost testing something. One, two, three. Big shout out goes to Bubbles from Sounds Great Productions, making us always sound really, really good on the mic. We also got a live stream service. Right, this is 011 Street Society track days, brother, and we're back in the pits over here. We're going to have a quick walk down and have a, have a look. Check this Supra out. It is, this is super blooming quick. He's coming out for a run now. This is the exhaust pipe there. We're going to have a look just a little bit later. Underneath the bonnet, there's a huge turbo. This is C4 Series. Proper drag tires on it. Mega, mega slicks. This thing's done proper street drags as well. It is unbelievable. These lines that you see on the tires here, those are the stretch marks because as 
as the tire turns, there's massive torque. So the rim, these bolts, the tire's bolted in here. And as it's turning, this part starts turning, but there's huge grip over here. And the tire crinkles and creases. You'll try and get a slow motion of that when he goes out. We're going to follow this car to the line. Uh, again, very, very narrow tires on the front. There's no steering needed, to, um, you know, just apart from keeping it basically in a straight line, but it's not, not going around corners. It's going straight, and they don't want to, they want to minimize drag. Other thing in the back here, you've got big fat weedy bars, carbon fiber, because carbon is lacquer, it's light, and it's kind of cool. Really nice, nicely built. In the bag, at the back here, there's the brakes. Air is your best friend and your worst enemy. Air slows it down. Moeti, come, let's walk with him. We're going to walk this car to the line. So he's got two parachutes in there. And when he gets to the end and he'll rip the cord of the parachutes, this thing's going to do about 270, 280 k's an hour at the end of the line. We're going to follow him through here, Moeti, as we, we go uh, onto the line. These are the little wheels. They've got nylon tires on them. And what happens as the car launches, those things sit down into the ground and prevent it flipping over backwards. It's not running yet. And reason for that, you want to keep the heat soaked down in the engine bay. Just keep it all down, keep it nice and cool. And they're going to go and do a burnout. So we're going to walk with him as, as he goes through and check these tires light up. This thing is unbelievable. This is practice for cash days. After 12 o'clock, it's getting all sorted out. Minimum 50 grand to pay for. It's unreal. No pressure. And we're going to sit. We're going to wait for two cars to go ahead of us. There's a whole sequence. There's a build up. The guys over here, they link to their driver radios. They talk to him. The crew chief on the right hand side there with a, with a hat. They'll take him through. He's going to do a burnout. There's no prep. So there's no sticky stuff that they put down on the road. Just a little bit of water, get the wheels spinning, get the heat into the, the, the tire compound, the rubber. And then the rubber does two things. It's got mechanical grip, so the rubber actually sticks into the, the tar, and it's also got a, a, a chemical grip. As the day goes on, more and more cars go down here, and it, they start laying rubber down. So you're going to do some fine-tuning to get the launch. There's no artificial track preparation. Later in the day, the track is going to get faster and faster, and the launch is going to get more and more critical. So let's follow this thing down here. I'm going to stand on the side here because I can. All I'm saying, I don't know if you're married, engaged or whatever, but if you do beat the M4 here, you might actually pick up a few chicks here from my I'm just saying. And have, have a look at the... The reason that exhaust is so big is that the, the engine's an air pump. It sucks in air, they're shoving fuel, ethanol, it bangs, you got to get rid of the, the air. There's a whole, the, the exhaust, there's a whole lot of power going in. The more air you put in, the more fuel you can put in, the more, more bang you've got, the more power you've got. No prep, cash days. Moeti, he's my cameraman, he's unbelievable. He follows me, he's like, he's like, uh, he's my man, he's my right hand. Moeti, my man. Moeti, check out there. They, they're watching you, Moeti. <laughs> right, here yeah, we're coming forward. Moeti, I want you to check out this back tire. I want you to keep on it. So what they're going to do, put the water down. That's the, uh, they only want the water to get the tire spinning. This is a concrete block here. You got it. It's nice and smooth concrete. If it was tar, it would melt it. Right, he started up. We're going to let the car talk. Watch this burn out. One thousand six hundred horsepower, or thereabouts. With the Ford, I might say, all the Ford Ranger looks are very happy. Rear Mayor is the fastest as we speak with an 845 ET with a 
Can this thing beat that 845? That is the question. Second burnout. That smell. The smell of the exhaust. I think, no, that was his burnout, I think. He's coming back for a real run. Grandmothers and your uncles too. The pressure is on this fine young gentleman by the name of Craig Zen. Right, Craig Zink in the car is coming back. Just bring it back straight. You'll see the crew. They're lining him up. They want to line him exactly onto the rubber that he's just laid down now. And that will give him extra traction. It is a Toyota Supra making over 1,600 horsepower on any given day. This thing is impressive in the previous practice run. Watch this. Half a second off, lots of pedaling. It is unbelievable. Standing this close to 1600 horsepower as it gets launches. You cannot believe the violence of how it just gets off the block those first 40 feet. Man, oh man. So at around about 200 meters, 100 meters, he started getting a whole lot of wheel spin, had to pedal it, lost half a second. This race, later this afternoon, between this and the judge, I reckon that's where it's going to end up. It's going to be unbelievable. Back to you guys in the studio. Great note. Good. I need to make money. I, need, I owe this man some money today. I owe Turbo Noss a little bit of cash. Track record, ladies and gentlemen, is a 8-2. Track record here at Midvale is 8.2 seconds. Proudly held by Richard Jordan. That is the track record, but, but, yo, Mo, yo, Mo, 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 that was track record with prep. Don't forget that, ne? No, 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 but, it, but you got to, you got to put it out there. So, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Jordan holds the record ja, at 8.2 seconds. Give him a round of applause, Craig Zank. Ran a nine-second pass. The track record is 8.2 seconds held by Richard Jordan, but with track bite and a little bit of sticky stuff on the tires, which makes a big difference. Rian Mayer has just ran an 8.45 unprepped track, no track bites, no sticky stuff. So for all you viewers watching at home, listen up closely. The track record, ladies and gentlemen, is 8.2 seconds held by Richard Jordan. Rian Mayer's just run an 8.45 on an unprepped track. No sticky stuff. Right here at track at cash days. Eagle tuned. Lining up. We got some female power in the mini. We got some girl power in the mini. Miss Mayer in the mini, ladies and gentlemen. Takes on G now. Oh. No, my bad. I take that all wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1987, when your mother was busting out a perm in Fortrecker Strat in Brakpan, a Nissan Exa was the coolest thing to drive. It was a 1.4 turbo. And of your toppy, being your father, rocked up to your mother with his mullet and a, a, a Nissan Exa 1.4 turbo, you know, you was koning there, boss. You were koning. For all the people that are slightly older than the average, you will remember Perms, you will remember Bon Jovi, and you will remember a Nissan XR 1.4 Turbo with pop-up lights. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Right-hand lane lines up against a Mini Cooper. In Nissan XR, right-hand lane. <laughs> Wow, ladies and gentlemen, and Nick and Nissan Exa, 
How many girls were kissed in that seat with a perm? Right hand lane takes a win with a 10.65 at 2.36. Nell takes the win in the Nissan Exa. No pop-up lights on that one. AJ Racing, El Teacher. X19 powered by Honda VTEC Turbo. Lines up. Capella R33P. Oh, he's out of there, ladies and gentlemen. Left and lane all the way. Easy win. Runs a 64 to 1.529. Crosses the traps in a comfortable 1086, ladies and gentlemen. 1086 at 203. Come, water. I'll pour you water. No worries, my brother. Can I please have a watching can? There we go. Single run, ladies and gents. Yo, Baba. Popping wheelies here in a Fiat X19 powered by Honda VTEC Turbo. Runs at 10.32 at 2.25. Yo. Craig, there was a, just over a 10 second. Um, to all the grandfathers. You're not really happy with that, are you? No, we're going to run low nines, mid eights. Uh, at this stage, we're just trying to see where the, the track is at, how much power to put in. So she's basically idling. We're doing 300 meters and then just slowing her down. But, uh, you know, the race gets won this afternoon. So as the day goes along, there's going to be more grip. We can apply a bit of power to it and, and try and get her down there straight. And you can change the power in terms of the delivery as you're going down the... Um, down the strip so that you, you don't over uh, get too much wheel spin just after 100 meters. We actually put it in before we leave, so we're trying to gauge how much traction there is. The last run was a 9.03, first run was a 10.5, so we add in a bit more power, a bit more power. But uh, at about 300 meters, I got it a bit sideways, so I had to back it out. So I backed it out, put it in neutral, and just cruised over the line. So we know at about 300 foot, so we'll take some power out at 300, uh, 300 meters and uh, add a bit in at the bottom. So it'll take two or three runs to try and gauge where you are on the, on the no prep. No prep's always interesting because it's, it's one thing to run when you prep. You know, we add lots of power, car gets on the wheelie bar, it goes like stink. It's not so easy here. No. But, and, and there's a lot of calculations that you do and you didn't come and you didn't bring this setup just for fun. You no. came to win. Oh yeah, no, 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 heads up is what we do, so we're going up against some very fast cars, you know, this is a, a per se street car, it's got a chassis, it's got full glass, it's got electric windows, and we're racing against pro mods, so... You, you're up against, you think you're going to be up against the judge later on? Oh yeah, oh no, there's no doubt, Rian and I have been around a long time, and uh, yeah, there's a niggle, we're going to do this. And it's a proper showdown. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to do this. Trust me. There's no doubt my mind, his mind, or anybody else's mind. Yeah, this is happening today. It's going to happen. I'll tell you what, it's exciting stuff. And I'm blown away at the, the level of energy in these cars. As you, you've got it on the traction control, it's popping and banging. And then when the lights go, it bolts. Yeah, the launch control makes it pretty aggressive. Um, we still at very, very low boost at the moment. This afternoon it should be a double at what it is now. So as they put out more rubber and the track gets a bit more temperature, you know, it's only 28 degrees on the track at the moment. So when we get to 35, then yeah, you let the dogs loose. And it's quite scientific in terms of what you do and going from previous experience on, on um, these sort of no prep days. A lot, some of them, some say, a lot of it happens at night. And daytime driving is different to nighttime driving. It, it, is but it isn't we don't take these cars out into the 
into the underworld per se. Um, they don't cater for cars making this kind of power. So we, we, stick, we stick to the tracks. Uh, later this afternoon, you're going to be seeing speeds of 280, 290. What, what sort of power and what revs does it run? We rev at the moment, not a lot, uh, but we rev in 92, 95. And at about 70 pounds boost, we pretty close to 2,000 horsepower. Uh, where we are today... Just, just say that again for the audience. 70, 75 pounds, we had about 2,000 horsepower. That's a lot. When you're sitting, it's a lot. What does it feel like as you, you light it up and it bangs you in your back and you bolt? Lack of feeling. It's awesome. Uh, to give an example, we're doing 0 to 100 in 0.95 of a second. So it's a bit insane. Um, on a track like today, we never straight. So you, you're fighting the car, you're fighting what it's doing, you're trying to fight shifting because it's got an air shifter so i got to shift on time um it's busy it's fun i mean good stuff and that's what it's about it's about the fun that's what we do you know it, it's fine to have a, a track car that only goes down a track we've got pro mods and we race them we've got top fuelers we race them this is a bit different it's unpredictable the track changes every time somebody breaks put something down you get on the track it's not the same track so awesome it's fun. We're really looking forward to this showdown and the build-up over the next few runs. Good luck. We're going to go and talk to the guys in the judge and see what the, uh, how it's going. I'm pretty sure they got the same sentiment. You know, we're all mates. But uh, when you line up next to each other, you line up next to each other. Yeah, and great. It's tagging rights. Great. Thanks a lot. And good luck. Eh? Thank you very much. Awesome stuff. Guys, Craig, the Supra, you, you heard it, 2,000 horsepower. Madness. Back to the box. for 25 minutes left all drivers in teams you have 25 minutes left yo getting sideways out here man daryl from speed and sound flexing the biceps from carrying these magazines for over 10 years plus. Sherbet, almost 20. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Theo, a.k.a. the Hitman, running a 200 TS, proudly brought to you by your number one performance magazine. I'm a speed and sound out here. We'll face Paste Motorsports, BMW, M5, Twin Turbo, V8, all-wheel drive. Front wheel drive versus all wheel drive. Show me what you got, son. <laughs> all the way down, ladies and gentlemen. Easy one for Theo. Ripping speed and sound. Left hand lane runs in 11.35 at 217 kilometers per hour. M5 runs 11.68 at 190 cc. Ladies and gentlemen, drivers in team, you have just over 23 minutes left. 23 minutes left of open practice. Then we're going to get straight into cash days. You better bring what you got, race what you brung. I'm at 35. Lines up, 135. Angel and Sons. Hope you're having a good time with us right here. One, three, five. 22 minutes left of open practice. 22 minutes left. Drivers in teams, make sure you get your final runs before our lunchtime break. That will happen at 12.30 and 12.30 on the dot. Rion Mayer, the driver of the judge. This thing is one hell of a machine. You obviously don't call it the judge for nothing. 100%. It's the judge at every single uh, track and, you know, we're trying to do the best in it. Now you, there seems to be a bit of the, you know, just having a look around. That Supra is also a little bit quick. What are your feelings on how this is going to go through the rest of the day? 
Look, hats off to Craig. Uh, Craig's cars are all well known for, for performing. Uh, for the day, you know, may the best guy win. And obviously, you know, let's just give our best. And how do you, uh, the, the no prep side of it, are you looking forward to that and figuring out where, how the grip's evolving during the day? Yeah, well, obviously on the mechanical side, one have to look at the, the, the road thread, you know, the conditions, and then from there on work the, the mechanical side of the car to obviously fit in with what you've got on the road. Now, now you've got a, a fat Ford V8 with some of the biggest turbochargers I've seen in my entire life. What sort of power, what does it rev to? Look, we can go for, as far as we want to. At the moment, the car is running at about 30% of its power. So we're running at about 900 horsepower now. And what do you expect um, elapsed times to be a little bit later this afternoon, Rian? Look, we've discussed it and we're pretty sure that we will be, we'll be able to go down. So, but let's see what, what, what the track holds. And how many more, pra have you finished with your practice? You're going to start waiting for the real, the, the cash days. Yeah, 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 we're in for cash days and uh, we've done our one test. We've got our data so we can work it from here. Have you gone to the ATM and uh, got some ammo? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for talking to us and good luck. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you, uh, Rian Mayer, this thing is beautiful. Just the level of prep, the, the, the lines, the hard lines, the... Uh, it is just spectacular and I'll tell you what a lot of track racing guys can come and have a look at the details and some may think it kind of crude I don't when you hear the kind of power these things are making they went just before we went uh, went live Rian said to me listen I'm not giving you figures I'm not gonna tell tell all the details just high-level stuff they talking between 1500 and 2000 horsepower and when these things bolt and they get off the line, quarter mile, no prep road, they're going to be doing high 280 to 300 k's an hour. And I but think, from what I can gather and the off-camera discussions they had, low eight seconds. This is, it is just, my mind is blowing. It's no prep cash days. It's heads up racing. It's going to be a wild and wicked afternoon. Back to the box. Drivers, you have 20 minutes left, 20 minutes left. s and Motorworks lines up, baby Chris. Drivers, you have 20 minutes left. Let's keep this race lane moving swiftly. Let's keep this race lane moving swiftly. Drivers, you have 20 minutes left before lunchtime break. Drivers, you have 20 minutes left, 20 minutes left. Guys, keep going forward. Up and up and up and up. forward. Everybody having a good time?
Next up on the line. Yo, Sev, where you at, bro? Where you at? You gotta impress us. Rennie 11 2. Maybe we break into a 10. Super boss, Satish in the right hand lane, ladies and gentlemen, lines up Quattro all wheel drive S3 2 liter 16 valve. Audi. We have 15 minutes left, drivers. We will not argue. At 12.30, the line will cease to continue. I repeat, drivers, at 12.30, the line will cease to continue to race. Right hand lane goes through and does an easy win. 1167. Man here the uncles and aunties your grandfathers and granddaddies too we have 15 minutes left before we have a half time break at half past 12 i repeat we will stop everybody on the line for half time break Line him up, line him up. I'm AJ Rotary. Goes up against the very impressive RMZ Motorsports. RS3. Very impressed with that Audi, man. Running solid, good times, yeah. Tian also ran an impressive 11-1. A huge thank you to each and every one of y'all for coming through today. This is Cash Day. It's probably brought to you by 011 Street Society in conjunction with MSLB Project Space Motorsport Gusto. Sounds great production. Psycho Racing with the Fire Corporation. Chapel Food Trailer, Ice Motorsport Racing Boys, Strata Performance, RCB, MPH, Drank Racing, and RCB Express. <laughs> Line them up. Left and lane takes the win. Line him up, line him up. All the way down we battle, battle, battle. I'm a V6. Twin turbo, all wheel drive. Skyline's going to take an easy win. Yes, he does. He runs 11 dead at 197. Possibly a contender for the fastest car on the property. Possibly a contender for the fastest car on the property. Racing boys out here, Rotary Turbo. Everybody's target and goal is an 8.44 or better. 8.44 or better. The current leader is Rian Mayer at 
in the twin turbo V8 Ford Mustang. Eight forty four, eight forty four. Ten minutes left for our drivers. Will Ria and uh, Will Racing Boys have what it takes? Pete, will he have what it takes to beat the eight forty four? Michael Ludwig playing close attention with biceps bigger than my forearms and legs put together. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Eight forty four is the target. Eight forty four is the target. Who's gonna take the fastest and quickest of the day? Racing boys, ladies and gentlemen, sixty foot of one point six five. Goes all the way down the strip. What is he gonna put on the board? Runs eighteen zero five. Two thirty eight, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping for better. We're going to let that car come back up. Next up, next up, 10 minutes left, 10 minutes left. We will, be, we, <laughs> we will be closing the track at half past 12. On the dot, no arguments, no arguments, no arguments at all. 12.30, we will close the track for lunchtime break. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Cash Days. 011 Street Society in conjunction with Midvale Raceway. Single run, single run. Single run. Yeah, boy, yes. Cars, let's get you in the warm up straps. Left and lane, here we go. I'm a GSX or Suzuki. <laughs> Left hand lane has a reaction. 60 foot of 1.575. Runs an ET of 964 at 231. My friend, you need a quaff diff, that's all I gotta say. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, BWMK1. Lines up, Audi S3, 16 valve, all wheel drive, turbo. Six minutes left of open, six minutes left. We will close up at half past 12. All wheel drive overtakes the MK1 Golf. And the MK1 short left McDonald's super size. Short left Baba McDonald's super size. Double cheeseburger with extra fries. Oh. 
Olhe! Literally the fastest fishing car in the world. All the way down, ladies and gentlemen. Rushing off to the vault dam in a hurry. Gotta catch that trout. Let's hit here the pizza. Quarter mile of 12.36. I'm a SUV performance. Still enjoying his ex-wife's car. Sarik Motors up here. Right in lane, turbocharge. I'm a 16 V turbo. Front wheel drive, VWMK1. Five minutes left of open. Five minutes left. I repeat, five minutes left, five minutes left. Track will close at 12.30 on the dot, on the dot. Let's go, let's go on the water, on the water. Right hand lane takes the win with the 11.39, 12.34, left hand lane next up. We got a Mitsubishi Evo, lines up the EXA. Mitsubishi Evo. I'm a Lancia all-wheel drive, two liters, 16 valve turbo charged. Lines up. The Nissan Exa with the boom. Yeah, boy. That's the fastest blonde perm you've ever seen down the quarter mile track. This and Exa, ladies and gentlemen, is going to take the convincing win and runs a 11.41 at 2.09. Left in lane runs a 12.19. Woo! I'm a 2JZ Supra. That's like the supermodel girl they went to high school with you, but you could never get close to. That's the one. The one you really wanted to ask out, but just never did. 2JZ Supra. Lines up. Be very humble. But nippy, QT performances, Polo, GTI, front wheel drive. Shire, 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 Shire. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to bet today, you better bet on the Supra. Right in lane takes the win, ladies and gentlemen, with a cool 1088 at 219. Polo runs a 15.6. All my friends here, don't waste all your money on the beer. All your Owens. In May Sikanda. I'm not afraid to take money from girls, I'm just saying. Bubbles, I see you've been going to Presley's a lot. Like a lot, ne? Like Presley's is your vibe, I see that. It's your move there. Ladies and gentlemen, right hand lane, Strata Performance, right hand lane takes on the super sexy RS3. All the way down the track, side by side. Good race all the way down to the quarter mile. Who will take it? Left hand lane for sure. Does so. 
runs at 12.44 at 177. Let's keep these cars moving forward. We're going to be closing up in three minutes and three minutes on the dot. 135 Post Motorsport. <laughs> Glorious sound of the R8 going down the track. Left hand lane takes the win with a 12 1 9 at 188. Right hand lane runs at 13 7. One of the best looking cars here. What an absolutely beautiful Hilux. Fast as it is beautiful. <laughs> the M5 will not forgive you. V8 twin turbo all wheel drive M5 puts the power down in all the right places, takes the win and runs an impressive. 11.62 at 1.96. Hilux struggling with traction, runs a 17. Right, the final two runs for your morning session. Final runs for the morning session. We got Klein Yan. Cool Roller lines up, 35 Skyline. Whoa. These are the final three cars going down before we break up for lunch. Klein Jan Badenost. The only VW Golf with an Opel motor. Still, that, that's nothing for you to brag about. You just, you just chill, huh? You just chill. I'm just messing with you. Branchworks, ladies and gentlemen, being all sacrilegious. Putting an Opel Superboss motor in a VW MK1. Apologize for the break, lost three cars. We're gonna have a lunch break, ladies and gentlemen. Give the team and the staff just a breather to do a number one, and if they have to be number two, hopefully they brought their own toilet paper, I'm just saying. Because you know the toilet paper, the racetracks are always the one ply, so you gotta like use the whole roll. That's why you must always carry two ply in your cubby hole. Things I learned from women, now I'm just telling you. Things I learned from a woman. Carry wet wipes, always have an umbrella, and always carry extra toilet roll of two ply. You never know when it hits you. All you feel is the grumble in your stomach and then you realize you need to find a spot. And that spot might be on the highway on the way to Kuruman. So, carry two-ply in your cubbyhole, always. Otherwise, you're gonna be using your vest and t-shirt and I don't even wanna get into that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be breaking off for lunch in a little bit. Klein Jan, otherwise known as Yanni, well, Big Jan watches on. Both Oaks, unfortunately, good builders of Opel Motors. We'll just leave it at that. Really? I'll be very happy to see that one day. They just told me they're actually building a VW motor. Good for you. I got to be honest, though. If you drove a GTI in 1999, 2000, 2001, you hated a super boss. Hated them. Because no matter what you did to your GTI, brother, Superboss still whoop your ass. I'll admit that, even though I'm a VW diehard, I'll, I'll give Opel Superbosses its due. Right, ladies and gentlemen, a final three runs. Trafello timing, making sure the sensors are in the correct place. Big shout out to um, my boy Bubbles for playing all the Presley songs for the last three hours. 
Thank you, Bubbles. No, thank you, Bubbles. I, I really. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rear wheel drive. I'm a baby Chris. Lines up. V6 all wheel drive skyline. Damn. Ish. Hey. Hey. Me and you, I'll have a session with you, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just got to say this again. That VW MK1 is powered by an old school Opel 16 valve Super Boss motor. It's not the same as your Corsa, I'm just letting you know. Just, just call, it's not a Corsa, I'm just saying. Yes, Theo, it is Opal. I see you, boy. I see you. We love you. Hello, Kaylin. How are you doing out here? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final run before break. And that is the end of the practice sessions. From now, we've got a lunch break. We're going to have a little bit of downtime. We go and do the refreshments we need to do, and then we're back for the real, the real action. It's head to head. It's cash days. It's no prep. 101 Street Society. It's unbelievable racing. Join us in about half an hour, and we'll bring you the real action. Cheers. Peace, though. Sounds great.